Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement here in Sharksburg, Georgia. Guess who this is? This is Mike. <laughs> uh, another poopy, rainy day. Yep, and Sally is sitting forlornly out in the driveway. Uh, I think she's upset, but... Uh, updating y'all right quick, particularly my customer, if she happens to be listening. Let me put this magnet down. Uh, everything, everything, everything that could be, can be, and should be clay barred has been clay barred on this vehicle. This Challenger, Hemi Challenger RT. I'm not sure what the RT stands for or means. But anyway, I'm not inherently familiar with these vehicles. But those of you who have been with me before know what all this means. Yep, buddy. It means I am ready to start paint correction. Oops, somebody's watching. <laughs> somebody's watching. Uh, this is really going to be a challenge on this challenge er I'm here to tell you every section on this vehicle I think is going to have to be treated differently uh, a because different types of paint different quality of paint and a really poor really poor paint job but I'm gonna start with the roof which is going to be a particular challenge and I'm going to start in this corner here. You can see right there. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Uh, don't know if I'm going to be able to clear that up all together. I can feel it with my fingernail. But I'm still not really sure what it is. Uh, but we'll see what we can do with that. And I don't know if you guys can pick up on that. But yeah, yeah. See, those? there's some scratching there. I'm not sure what that is from. Uh, that's what happens when you get these cars absolutely clean. You begin to see stuff that you could not see before. Part of the reason is, and I think my customer very diligently waxed this vehicle on a fairly regular basis, so it seems. And those retail waxes in particular all have what we call fillers in them. And... They will fill in and cover up some of these scratchings for a short period of time. <laughs> they very quickly dry out, wash off, that sort of thing. And then, lo and behold, the scratches that you hid come back. I do not use products that have fillers in them, particularly when I'm doing the paint correction or paint enhancement, because I want to know when a scratch or a defect is gone, it is gone forever. Somebody might put another one in there, but the ones I took out are gone, and they're gone forever. Oh, Lordy. But, as I said, every section on this car, and if you watch my previous videos, you understand what I'm talking about, is going to take a different approach. Ugh. I don't know if y'all can see that spot in the middle. There's several big spots in the middle of the trunk there. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Don't know if I'm going to be able to clear that up. But I should be able to improve it. Something right there in the paint. I don't know. But not much shine there. All this, every panel on here is going to have to be attacked differently. But getting back to the roof, which I'm going to be doing today. It will probably take most of the day, if not all day. I've assembled the tools of my trade here. I'll give you all a quick look at them. This just happens to be my drying towel, which is laying here. This is my paint thickness gauge. It tells me how much paint's on there. I just double-checked the roof again. Uh, I'll show you here. We got plenty of paint to work with on here, but this paint, to me, seems very fragile and soft so I have to be very careful with it at any rate you know that's a little over 10 mils of paint on the roof that's a good bit of paint folks if y'all are familiar uh, and what I will be doing as well 
this is a surface temperature thermometer and I will as I buff after I finish the section after I finish my passes I'll check the surface temperature because when you're buffing particularly you raise the temperature of the clear coat because of the friction and the product of the buffer and I try to keep it within about 10 degrees you can see here for example it says 82 which is about the ambient temperature in the room but when you go down here let's say to a vertical panel it's a little bit cooler just the lights from the garage have heated that up just a tad but I will double check the temperature after every after I finished a couple passes and make sure I'm not heating that paint up too much that determines a lot of what you can and cannot do and I will do the minimum try to preserve as much clear coat as possible because that's the goal maximize results within preserving as much clear coat as possible not only is that where your shine comes from but your protection from UV rays etc comes from uh, so I've got all that yep 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 there's my pointer I've been using I've got four black finishing very soft Lake Country pads out for my dual action polisher I will not be using a rotary on the roof like I said I think that paints too fragile I don't want to get too aggressive here's the buffers I plan on using so far this is a 15 millimeter long throw dual action polisher I will keep the speed down on it to probably two maybe three with that black pad on there which will not be very aggressive and I'll be using this Koch coach however you pronounce that Kimi final micro cut polish because I said I do not want to get very aggressive with that panel and like up in the corners the small spaces I'll be using this little I think they call this a nano polisher it's also dual action it has a, a one inch black Lake Country finishing pad on it at the moment you know I'm gonna try that first and see what I get you guys I appreciate y'all tuning in that's what's going on this morning Whew. Where'd my focus go? <laughs> anyway, uh, hopefully it'll stop raining one of these days. <laughs> Not that it much matters to me. Uh, and as we progress to these different panels, I will come back with further videos and explain and try to show you the problems. Because I plan on when I finish the roof, I may do either the hood or the trunk. I haven't decided yet. But we will come back and review that and go over that with you guys and show you the results. I'll come back later and show you the results on the roof first. But it's time for me to get started back to work. I need to stop and have a little bit of lunch, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, no time to eat. No time to eat. <laughs> the clay bar in this thing was, it was meticulously clay barred. Everything that could be, every little space up under the door handles everywhere all around the mirrors rearview mirrors everything was clay barred all these little flat spaces like right here that was all clay barred as well and this paint is so rough folks it literally ripped up my clay bar there's so many paint nibs and defects you know when you're sliding that clay bar across it they were catching the clay bar and just ripping it apart it's basically the consistency of Play-Doh and has a very similar appearance. Like this nib right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Those things like that just rip your clay bar apart. Uh, but you know, that's all part of it. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, clay bar is not cheap, but it's not overly expensive. And that's why I'm here. That's what this is all about. Is try to maximize the effects on this car. Now, <sighs> the budget on this car was for a one-step polish but 
I quickly realized when I got this thing clean, that's not going to be satisfactory to me. It may have been to the customer, but not to me. So this is probably in a lot of spots going to turn into a two-step and maybe some places even a three-step, which means that instead of paint enhancement, this job has turned into paint correction and that's okay. That's okay. You know, these special cars like this, and they're all special, but I, I have a, you know, fondness in my heart for these muscle cars. Oh, man. So, I will have to go the extra mile. But I appreciate everybody. Time for Mikey to get back to work on this poopy, rainy uh, Monday afternoon. I appreciate y'all, those of you who dropped by for a visit. <laughs> and you know what they say, lack lack like tag share follow subscribe please all that stuff give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down it doesn't matter if you have questions you know you feel free to shoot it to me in a pm if you don't want to ask in front of everybody doesn't matter i'll if i don't know the answer i'll find the answer <laughs> Anyway, I appreciate you folks. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great week. Bye now.